Yeah, I'd say revenge is coming indeed. Yes. Came last week around Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's had a chance to see it. I apologize this is a little bit late, but uh, at least we won't spoil anything for the Definitely record. Definitely won't spoil anything for Movie you. fans. You know us. I'm Johnny Love. J-Man, and this is J-Man and Johnny Love's Transformers Movie Review. And our new addition, old Frank Rizzo, the sizzle chest. Yeah, he'll bring his tools and fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, great sequel. It was a better sequel it, it beat the first one. Oh, definitely. You know, and usually it doesn't happen like that. Usually it it's just the opposite. It usually they shoot their wad in the first one, and then there's the second one. A lot more one. action, a lot more humor. Uh, the action sequences were excellent. CG oh, was dude. great. Yeah. Loved it. Could edge of your seat. The last, the last 45 minutes was a straight action battle scene. I mean, it was the best thing, best battle action scene I've seen with Transformers. I mean, it blew the first one out of the water. You, got, you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, you got to go see it. got to go see it. Shia LaBeef did a good job as Sam Witwicky. I think it's LaBeouf, but he still did a great <laughs> job as Sam Widwicky. The Beef. The yes. Beef. Uh, uh, the greatest thing I liked about it was that it, he, he still played a humorous role. The kid's a funny kid. I've seen a lot of his movies even coming up. I, I, I could even make a reference to Holes, the Disney movie. I mean, it, it's funny. I mean, it, the, kids, the kid's had a great career. He's hilarious. He's, he's pulled this off. Uh, kept me entertained. You can take your kids to see this movie, yet if you just want to go and hang out with the guys, have a couple drinks, it's a kick-ass, action-packed, edge of your seat, you'll love it. Yeah, Michael Bay did a great job as far as directing this uh, best summertime blockbuster as far as I'm concerned out of this season. It's keeping up with Dark Knight. It is, yep, and that, that was last summer's deal, but you know, I mean, those are neck and neck. And uh, and if you don't like Transformers, something's wrong with you. Yeah, I mean, come on, that stuff's been around since we were kids. A and child from the 80s loves and, Transformers. Yes, and Period. now here we have it on the big screen, and it's getting better and better. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I can't wait for the next one. Nope, It'll absolutely be, not. I mean, absolutely they need to not. do six or seven of these. Mm -hmm. As long as they can keep the seed and the characters where it's at, yeah. they could go on Keep like the cartoon out. used to drag on Keep back in the day. Out. They could Keep just pumping them out. I mean, they're a great entertainment, almost like X Men stuff. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, there was a little bit of racial controversy with the addition of mud yeah. flapping skids. Mud, mud flapping skids are the equivalent to Jar Jar Binks. Everybody knows who Jar Jar is, unfortunately. It was all in good humor, though. Right. I mean, it was definitely uh, controversial in a way to say, you know, hey, black people don't read. There was the one scene where they were like, hey, well, we don't, we don't read much. I mean. Even black people thought that was funny because they know that that stereotype is so old. I mean, right. so that's old. like 80s I mean, that's, stuff. We do have the yeah, 80s further back than that. What are you talking about? You're talking about slave day. Mass, masses know you're reading. I mean, that's just some crazy stuff they had in there. But it's still just for good humor. I mean, right. yeah, Michael Bay said it was for the kids. We do have a special right. guest star. Uh, yes, we want to get his good opinion. friend of mine. I've known him since uh, elementary school. Yeah, uh, he is the token yes. black guy. We'll call him Don Cheetos, a.k.a. Jamel. <laughs> Don Cheetos, up, twin bro? brother. How you doing, cut? Yes, sir. What's up, no, man? How you doing? You know hey, my dog didn't bark at you, so you know there's no racial controversy here. Well, we know there's nothing. <laughs> we, we, we actually the same color, so yeah, that there's works. no discrimination here. <laughs> How you doing? Everybody know what J-Man wrote about the review on the uh, Transformers Revenge of the Falling, but I found a couple paragraphs that I uh, particularly uh, found interesting, and I'd like to read them to you. From an article discussing the Michael Bay racial controversy that the New York Times threw up at him last week. Go ahead. And I quote, Every race has their own quirks. That's why Dave Chappelle was so successful. My favorite comedian, by the way. Hilarious. Mission mm -hmm. Dave. He made fun of everyone. No race was saved from Dave. My name is Earl is about a trailer trash white guy. I don't remember hearing the same above mentioned critic blast that for stereotyping white people. Okay. This is all a bunch of bullshit. Whee! And an easy way for the New York Times to make some headlines which results in money, in which they should be ashamed of themselves. Hey, Manola, Obama is president now. Time to move yourself out of the racially hyped past and into the equally make fun of all races present. Exactly. I think if Obama made a statement about the situation, he would say, and I quote, If African Americans do not want to be portrayed in this light, then maybe they should have one go shouldn't have one go to sticking out of their mouths and speak without the backstreet slang. No more popping caps in people talk either. Also, if white people do not want to be portrayed as trailer trash, then white people should move out of the trailer and quit doing it with your sister <laughs> or, or the kid licking the short <laughs> bus, bus window. window. <laughs> End quote. End quote. <laughs> it's not a big deal. They're just characters in a movie. Um, obviously, I mean, Jamal right. didn't have an issue with it. 
Uh, and, we've all, as, and we've all had fun with the kid licking the bus, uh, <laughs> licking the, the bus window bus on window. the short bus. I mean, come on. Now. Speak for yourself, Johnny. Just throw fire for yourself. Second, man. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I got a cousin that way. I mean, it's all in, it's all in good humor. I hope nobody makes a big stink about it. You know, he's not offended by it. We're not offended yeah. by it. It's I mean, really it's all... A, it's a done issue, really. It was the, more... the, the movie was bigger than, than those two characters. It was nice to see Bumblebee take right. him and slam him. That's the equivalent of, of seeing uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi take Jar Jar Binks and throw him up right. against the wall. We that was got, cool. They gotta have happened. some type of controversy to make a sale or to do something to make... to poke fun at the Ridge of the Fallen or anything that mm -hmm. we have to do with anything. So Right. Like, and it's not like Bumblebee slapped him together and said, Your name Toby! Right. I mean, you didn't have anything <laughs> crazy like that going on. Kucha Kete walking around with the chains or something. <laughs> that, you know, so, no. What do you None like of that. that. None of that. But uh, what'd you think of the battle scenes? I thought they were the shit. The battle scenes was awesome. That was the heart and I soul of the movie. I did say awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he did say awesome. Uh, the Fallen was badass. I mean, uh, that was uh, not a new character. It was introduced in the in the uh, cartoon series back in the eighties. They yep. did they did set up something to take the energy of the sun. So Michael Bay went with the source material really well when he set this plot up. It was know, badass. Yeah, the same nice. writers who wrote this wrote Star Trek, which was good. Uh, Star Trek was wasn't a bad movie. No. I never really great. watched Star Trek. I really wasn't a Star Trek-y. Well, either was I. I'm a Star Wars guy by far. Never call Han Solo a bitch! Well, wait a minute, though. We don't want to offend, soft, we don't want to offend the Trekkies, either. He meant to say Trekkie. Nope. We don't need any hate mail. We don't need any hate mail. All right. Finally seeing Soundwave on the big screen was yes. cool. I haven't seen him since the 80s, so that was cool. Even though he was only... He was only up in the satellite, he was only, you know, he was relaying information to the Decepticons, but he was there, and the right. voice was awesome. That was cool. I believe it was Leonard Nimoy who did that. Um, Thank God Optimus came back. Yeah, back. because yeah. If, I, when he died in the movie, I said, what? I gotta, yes. We gotta wait two more years to see him? I mean, Optimus. It was, it, was, it, was, it was in a very... He can't die. It's right before the middle part of the movie, you know, the middle right. of the movie, but, you know, they, they pulled it off well, and when he came back with uh, Jetfire's... Additions that rock. That was that was the that was the shit. Yeah. Um, Transformers has uh, came out with a worldwide gross of four hundred nineteen million three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Just right up there with Dark Knight. Yeah, that's in pace with the Dark Knight. Um, the Dark Knight was a much more character-driven movie. Right. Uh, this was your typical summer blockbuster well, popcorn movie. Well, this is CG-driven. You need to watch this for the action, for yep. the way they trans... The special it, effects, like the CGI. Yeah, oh, Something's got to be wrong with yeah, you. They took their time with the CGI and hit it's it spot neat. on. It was, yes. it was good. It was good. Um, the Isabel Lucas issue uh, with Shia when he hurt his hand, rolling the truck. Isabel played... She she played a whore. That's, a, that's okay. She was she was, a, she was she we was a, hot she was a pretty Every whore. But it was just funny how it related to what happened in real life, you know, with, right, with them right. flipping the truck and then her boyfriend on Entourage saying, you know what, I don't know why you're in the truck with him in the first place. Right. And so then then in the movie she's playing somebody who's trying to steal. You know, shy away from Megan Fox, the ever beautiful Megan Fox. My by girlfriend, way. by the way. Megan, leave a comment, please. Yes. <laughs> Don't know what uh, I was thinking, it. but. <laughs> What'd you think? What'd you think? Did you like it? Yeah, I love the movie. Actually, I've been I've been waiting on this movie. I'm waiting on seeing how uh, they was gonna bring all the primes and how they was gonna do the storyline with you know the primes back mm -hmm. history and whatever, and then. And how they're gonna introduce the fallen, which I thought was a they incorporated it great. Yes, yeah, it was I good. I'm actually going to see it again with my children no this No long time. Drive, yeah. scenes, right. all action, humor. Loved it. They're uh, contradictory to the rumor that was out last week as far as uh, IMAX having additional footage. That wasn't true. They just had scenes filmed in IMAX. The runtime for the regular version of the movie was the same runtime for the IMAX version of the movie. So you're not missing out on anything. But it's if just he's going to see it, you need to see it at IMAX. It no, was definitely go see it. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, that, it's, it was awesome. It's worth the extra three bucks. I said three bucks. I think it's nine bucks. Well, I mean, you know, it's actually twelve fifty for a ticket. Yeah, well, there you go. If you're on a budget. <laughs> IMAX Maybe might IMAX is the way to go. Might not cut it. Don't cut it. But um, you know, thanks for watching, comic book movie fans. We will definitely be back here in about a month and a half. Yes, for some GI Joe. Go Joe. Real American hero. Let's hope Go Joe Real don't American blow. Real American hero. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Lee. We know you like Hawk.
Go Joe! <laughs>